This video is going to demonstrate a coin control line set up on my DMS100 family telephone switch. Um, I've got a translation verification or a traver shown here between the coin line and a, another phone that I'll be calling. And so we can see that the line attribute is type CCF, which is a coin first line, meaning you don't get dial tone until you put a coin in the phone. Um, later on in the translations, we'll see that uh, first of all, we find the line that I'll be calling, the actual physical piece of hardware that line is attached to, as well as uh, information about the local calling area that classes this call as a local call which will cause the DMS to collect the coin once the call is completed as opposed to return it. So then we move over here where I've borrowed a three slot Western Electric uh, coin first pay phone and there's another phone uh, here that we'll be calling. So, because the phone is coin first, if I pick up the receiver, I don't initially have dial tone, but if I put in a coin that meets the initial rate, which on this phone is 10 cents, um, that was a 25 cent coin, so I've met initial rate, and now I have dial tone. If I hang the phone up without making a call, uh, my coin is returned to me through the return shoot because I didn't actually place a completed call. The same thing would happen if I placed a call and it didn't answer and I hung up the phone. So we'll put the coin back in. I have dial tone again now. I'm going to dial the phone to my right. And then it'll start ringing and I will answer it. And because the call was answered, we'll see that coin will be collected and it will actually fall out uh, here and I'll catch it uh, from the uh, coin collection hopper. So there's the coin.